Thanks for stopping by. This is Two Minute Classroom, and today we're talking about renewable and non-renewable resources. Both types of resources provide energy to be used in our cars, houses, and devices. Non-renewable resources refer to energy resources that have a limited supply, that is, they will run out. These include coal, oil, natural gas, and nuclear power. The reason these resources have a limited supply or a finite supply is that they take a long time to produce. Coal, natural gas, and oil all come from decayed organic matter like dead plants and animals. But in order to become an energy resource, this organic matter must undergo changes for millions of years, usually involving heat and pressure in the Earth's surface. Nuclear power, on the other hand, comes from elements like uranium that are mined from the Earth. Again, there is a limited supply of all of these non-renewable resources because we use them at a much faster rate than they are produced. These resources are converted to power through the use of power plants, often to create electricity or, in the case of oil, to fuel transportation. As you are likely aware, the use of these non-renewable resources also has a negative effect on the environment. This effect is large with resources like coal, oil, and natural gas, the use of which increases carbon emissions. The effect is smaller with nuclear power, which primarily disrupts the environment through mining efforts and disposal of nuclear waste. Renewable resources, on the other hand, are much less impactful on the environment. They also have a practically unlimited supply, and that is why we call them renewable resources. These include solar power, wind power, geothermal energy, hydropower, and biomass which is energy from organic materials like wood and biofuels like ethanol. Renewable resources use the energy created by nature on a recurring basis. The sun shining, the wind blowing, and water flowing are all natural resources of energy for us to tap into. For example, the amount of solar energy that hits the earth in a single day is more energy than the entire planet consumes in the course of a year. Areas with high wind are great for groups of windmills called wind farms, which send energy to transmission stations to be distributed as electricity to homes and businesses. Hydropower works much the same way, usually using a dam to build up water pressure and run it through turbines to generate energy that is also sent to the transmission stations. Another big component of renewable energy are batteries. Batteries allow us to store energy on a small scale for use in our homes or cars. And this is how Elon Musk Tesla cars work. The better batteries we have, the more efficiently we can utilize renewable resources. If you want to energize your grades, then join my exclusive student success newsletter. You'll get quality tips in your inbox every month to help you succeed in school and in life. Follow the link in the description to join the newsletter for free. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.